I grabbed this USA Star from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was $8.99, and then this Spring Shop collection was 40% off. No coupon needed. And I'm going to start by painting the entire thing using my Wise Owl Snow Owl paint. And then once I had full coverage, I allowed that to fully dry. Once dry, I took my Wise Owl anchor and a small art brush, and I just went around the outer edge of the star. Now here I'm just using one of the brushes from the brush set that you can find on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. They come in a variety of sizes and they're great for small sections like this. And again, I allowed that to dry. I'm going to take my Wise Owl Republic Red and fill in the USA. Now, of course, you can do this in any color order that you want. I just wanted to do the letters red, the star behind that white, and then the bigger star blue. Now, you'll be surprised what you can find outside in your husband's toolbox. I found this really cool drill bit, and I'm just going to put it into my drill. And now what's cool about this is it can drill a variety of different size holes. And I just needed a very small hole drilled into the star. So I just went around, and very carefully, since this wood is very thin, I drilled holes at each point of the star. And this is what we have so far. I removed the price tag off the back and the hanger just had two small screws. And I just removed that. And I'm going to take my hand sander and just quickly sand it. You do not need to use a hand sander. You can just use regular sandpaper. I just want to clean it up a little bit so I can just paint it. And I took a very light grit sandpaper and just quickly sanded the top of this as well. Now I'm just taking more of my Anchor Wise Owl paint and I'm just filling in the circles that I drilled because when I drilled it went down to the bare wood and I just want to fill that back with the blue paint. Once that was fully dry I flipped it over and I just painted the back with the Wise Owl Anchor. Now between all these steps you really want to make sure you allow everything to fully dry so you're not smudging when you flip the star back and forth. So once the back was fully dry, I flipped it back, and I'm going to use my Wise Owl Varnish. This is the matte and a Gen Foam brush, and I'm just going to give it a top coat with the varnish. I have these glass gems. You can find these at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, and I found them in the red, white, and blue. The white is more of a clear, and they sit perfectly into the holes that I drilled. So I just went around the star in the pattern of red, white, and blue until all the holes were filled with one of the glass gems. And I'm going to adhere that using my E6000 adhesive glue. This dries clear and it has a really great hold. So I just went around the inner edge of the hole and placed the glass gem. Now, if you don't have that drill bit or don't want to spend the money on one, you absolutely do not need it. You can just glue the glass gems on but you see how I have the light coming through the back how it makes it much brighter if you just glue it on it's just going to be a darker color which still looks really pretty to me so don't feel like you cannot do this project if you don't have the drill bit I had this burlap ribbon I got this from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to cut about eight inch length and then I'm just going to cut the stripes going down the ribbon into three different sections. I'm just cleaning the edges up here. I'm going to lay them on top of each other and you could take anything. I have a paintbrush here and I'm just going to fold it over in half on the paintbrush. Now I have a piece of jute 
I'm just going to tie it, leaving a little room at the end of the paintbrush. Make this nice and tight and cut that short. I'm going to string a piece of jute through where the paintbrush was and add one wooden bead. And now we just made this really easy Americana tassel that I'm going to hang at the bottom of the star here. I'm just going to hold it with the hot glue. You can certainly also use the E6000. And I had found these little finger protectors at the Dollar Tree. It came three in a pack for a dollar and they actually work very well so you don't burn your finger. And then we're going to go to the top of my star and just drill a small hole so we can add a hanger. And I'm just going to string a piece of jute from the top and tie a little knot. And there we go, now we have this fun USA star that you can hang in front of your window. And I think this looks so pretty when the light hits the glass gems. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.